Yeah, I totally agree with you here. Sometimes our designers do send images which have nothing to do with the project management topic that we are going to discuss. Hello and welcome to vmclounge.com. This is one such example. We are discussing float and slack and it has nothing to do with the beach ball that you see and the beautiful green ocean that you see. Of course, it may encourage you to take a leave and take a vacation, but do that after watching this video. All right, let's get started. So this video assumes that you already know or should already know two concepts. One is network diagrams and the other is critical path. The second link in the description is going to be the entire playlist of all the important topics pertaining to critical path, float, slack, early start, early finish, late start, late finish, concepts like these, network diagrams, concepts like these, which are going to help you master this entire topic of critical path method. All right. So I hope you already know network diagrams. I hope you already know critical path. If not, second link in the description, check out the entire playlist, come back to this video and you will be able to easily understand how you calculate float, what exactly float or slack is. Now, one other thing before we move ahead is if you are into reading articles, if you would rather read an article on float and slack rather than watch a video, first link in the description is going to take you to pmclounge.com website where we have a related article on float and slack this very topic itself right let's move ahead so let's get down to it what is float a quick definition is going to be that float is the amount of time remember this it is an amount of time that an activity can be delayed without affecting the end date of the project i repeat Float is the amount of time that a project activity can be delayed without affecting the project end date, which means this activity may not be urgent at all times. It can actually be delayed and your project will still meet the end date, will still meet its deadlines. Now, does that ring a bell? We talked about how activities which are not on the critical path. We did talk about this when we were talking about critical path. So the important point here is the fact that activities not on the critical path, not is the keyword here. Activities not on the critical path can be delayed for a while without affecting the project end date. We talked about this in the critical path video as well. So the value of this a while is precisely known as float right so we just said how float is actually an amount of time so the value of this a while that is precisely what float is so how important it is to know what float is because this is the activities and the amount of time those activities can be delayed and you should have no problems at all meeting the project deadlines and the project end date. A corollary here should be the fact that float for activities on critical path will be zero because critical path activities cannot be delayed at all. That's the whole concept of critical path, which we have discussed in the previous video, right? So critical path activities cannot be delayed at all. Activities which are on other paths other than the critical path, right? Those activities can be delayed for a while. That a while is the amount of time which is known as float. Now let's talk about Slack. But before we do so, I'd like to remind you if you're looking for PMP book recommendations, head over to pmclounge.com slash resources. All right, now let's talk about Slack. So it is fair to club these two terms together. When we say these two terms, we are essentially talking about Slack and float. And in many texts on many internet forums, on many videos, all the resources that you are going to refer to will have Slack and float uh, 
being used together and the reason for that is pretty much the fact that float and slack are basically the same concept so whatever that we just discussed in float applies to slack as well because these are the same terms and as far as project management and the pmp exam is concerned you can treat float and slack as synonym so i see a lot of people get confused with this uh, when they are initially starting their studies but this slide is going to be helpful. This slide is going to bust all those uh, confusions out. The fact that float and slack are the same thing. So don't worry too much about it. Just know what float is. That is also known as slack. Now let's talk about the calculation of float. The main agenda of this video is the calculation of float. We already know what float is and we have seen this diagram as well earlier in our critical path video we found out the paths these are the three paths a b a c f g and d e h so these are the three paths in this network diagram we already know this we have calculated we have added their durations and we have calculated uh, the the addition for all three paths and we already know that ACFG is the critical path because the duration for this is the highest 13 right so ACFG is the critical path we already know this this is something which we had already covered in our video on critical path now let's talk about calculation of float so float for critical path activities is always zero we already know this we have already discussed this in this video itself on previous slides that float for critical path activities is zero which means activities like a c f and g float is equals to zero because these are critical path activities these activities cannot be delayed at all now let's talk about the next longest path the next longest path here is a b because the sum is 10 right so this is the next longest path and you calculate float by subtracting the critical path from the next longest path the values so we subtract 13 by 10 and we get 3 we have basically subtracted the critical path values and the next longest path value and we got the answer 3 which means this essentially means the float for activity A and activity B is going to be 3 so float for B is 3 again float for A could have been 3 but we remembered we just remembered that activity a is actually a critical path activity so thus the float for a cannot be changed although you have the value here you have the float calculated here as three but activity a cannot be changed because it is a critical path activity b the float for activity B is going to be 3. This precisely means that activity B can be delayed by 3 days and the end date of this project will still be unimpacted. Now, let's calculate the float for the last path, which is DEH. Again, same calculation applies. You will subtract the last path with the the values in the last path with the critical path which gives out for acfg minus deh the value that you get is four so four is the float for activities d e and h these three activities the float for these three activities is going to be four and this is what is now reflected here so that is how you calculate float 
first you calculate the critical path the critical path here this is uh, the action item number one that you do second you subtract the critical path with the next longest path right and you got this is uh, this is step number two this is where we did the subtraction right and then you get the float value for the activities on the next longest path you cannot change the float value for activities which are on critical path and that is why we were not able to change the value of a here right similarly you repeat that for uh, in step 3 you calculate that for the next path which was the last path in this diagram so that is why we were able to calculate the float for activity d e and h so i hope this video was helpful and you were able to understand how we calculate float what float really is and how float and slack are the same concepts hit the like button if you enjoyed the video subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon we are all about pmp we are all about project management and don't forget to check out the website pmclounge.com your number one free pmp resource thank you